What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Little Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj and this is Tam. Hey. And today we're on Doom Patrol, season four, episode four, Casey Patrol. Um, I believe from the Doom Patrol trailer, Casey's a new character that's coming in. I know nothing about her, so yeah, we're gonna have to figure out. Rita, though, is non-conscious after she came out of, um, you know, her film land with that, when that lady took, I guess, Rita's emotions for a mortis. Um, so we just gotta see what's going on with that. Um, the team brought her in, but it kind of ended there on that sad note. So hopefully Rita will be fine. She may be down for a bit, but she is not out. I'm certain of that. Uh, so let's see what they got for us this week. Full and other reactions are available on Patreon. They take it straight from the books. Whatever you're planning, you know I'll put a stop to it. <laughs> Once I collect my prize, my triumph shall be inevitable. And all my desire will be forever mine. Ignite the stock. Do I think the darkness had such a hold. Even the moon would dash her its face. My whole body burned with frostbite as I trudged through the cold mountain air. Before my father Niles passed away, he traded this necklace to Horst in order to help me in the Doom Patrol. But I desperately needed it back. I told him that if I had the necklace, I might be able to conjure my father from the afterlife and tell him all the things I had never had a chance to say. He wasn't going to give me my father's necklace. I'd have to take it back. Oh, she made a wish. Now, why would you even try? Come on, man. Yeah, because I'm not going to fight that. I thought we were passed out. Well, okay, then. Dorothy was not playing about her dad's necklace. Crystal and the dead boys helped me summon my father. And our reunion was everything I'd hoped it'd be. This necklace kept my father alive so he could spend nearly a hundred years with me. And even though he's gone, I know he'll always be in here. Love always lives up. Welcome to her tent time. Fuck off and die? How many times are we gonna come back and do this? As long as it takes for our message to stick. Let's get to work, ladies. They said we are not having it. Survived another day out there, ladies. Can't wait to get home. All right, now, nah. you know you've seen me here. I'm fine. She misses her family. I'm not a kid anymore, Danny. Uh-uh, you ain't gonna be a kid to enjoy Please that. I'll take you to she don't want it. She okay? Fine. If Danny sent me, I'll tell you the same thing I told them. Don't need anybody to help me. I'm just here to ask if you wanted to do a little karaoke. But I'm guessing the answer. Yeah. After the day I've had, I would love nothing more than to lock myself in my dressing room and curl up into a ball. Why, Marley? What happened to you? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine, Dorothy. That's not worth getting into, but thank you for asking. Point is, whenever I feel like nobody gets me, I put on my best wig, 
sashay on stage and build one out to the back row. You can't help but feel seen in the spotlight. That's nice. If you ever need to talk, you know we're always here, right? I do know what. You are always here. Danny is always here. None of you will do what I ask. It just be me alone. Well, it's hard for Danny to leave you alone when you're sitting right on top of them. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't take Danny for granted. Believe me when I tell you, things are tough out there right now. More than ever, people need Danny. She's gonna leave. Well, they kind of need her here because something's about to happen. You don't know what's going gonna kill everybody? Danny, I, you gotta see. Yeah. Um, Space Cakes. This your girl? She seems very peppy. She's awesome, actually. She saves the universe from bad guys. She's never afraid to do what she has to. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, no tea, no shade. You can't stay cooped up in your room like this every day. We've been down this road before, remember? Maybe you should get out a little more. Didn't you literally just tell me how bad it is out there? Well, you can take care of yourself. Don't you got all those little imaginary friends to back you okay, up? Okay, thank you. Are we done here? Oh, excuse me, Miss Thang. This for work for soft routine is getting really tight, so maybe pull it back a tad, okay? What do you want from me? I want you to quit sitting around here reading about someone else's adventures and go have some of your own. I'm fine where I am. It doesn't seem like it. Where else am I going to go? What about the Doom Patrol? Don't you think that's what Miles would want? No. He'd be thrilled, actually. I'm right back in my prison cell where I belong. Okay. If you don't feel like any of us understand what you're going through, try to find someone who can. Good advice. Make new friends. Got it. Hello? Oh, What's going on? Not to get her. Oh. These diamonds? Are you? Go back inside. Their bodies just disappeared? No, it's I said go! Oh. Uh. Yeah, back up. but we better shake a leg. If the Vector are here, that means he can't be far behind. Who? Torminox. Dorothy must have had something to accidentally do with this. Her mood has somehow brought her comics to life. What the hell did that TurboTax guy do to them? Torminox. That no good program turns anyone he wants into his own personal stormtroopers. They're called the Vetra. But our people are still in there somewhere, right? We can fix them. First, we've got to fix that Torminox right good. But not to worry. Space Case is on the case. Dorothy is loving it. Do you have a hyperspeed capable titanium alloy intergalactic starship? No. It's in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Woo! Great Caesar's ghost at a top knock. 
How many characters no. don't eat? Okay, sweetie, you're up at a Katy Perry, and I'm gonna need you to bring it way down to an Alicia Keys. Yeah. <laughs> Dorothy, a word. Are you really out here trying to tell me that this crazy ass white lady is some kind of <laughs> fictional character? Yes. How? I don't know. Those things were banging on the door, and then I had to call Mick, and then. <laughs> and I thank you for that proof. But maybe just stop your cute little friend back into your That's head. That's just okay? it. I can't. I don't think she's imaginary. I think maybe somehow I pulled her out. You can do that? Not usually. My imaginary friends are all my own creations. Is this Tampax? Tom Knobs. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> the scuzziest, scum sucking space monster in the galaxy. He's also. Her dad. This busted ass eggplant is that girl's daddy? Well, he wasn't always like that. He's here. Richard got into a horrible lab accident and it turned him into the monster he is today. Your mother faced Tolmox and sacrificed herself to save the universe. And I know Tolmox didn't die in that explosion. He never dies, does he? He always finds a way to come back. You dedicated your whole life to stopping your father at a great personal cost. Fighting it ever since. And you didn't know I was your papa? You knew he was gone. Oh, she knew. As far as you're concerned, he may as well be dead. How do you know all this? She read every issue. Where did you get this? I, I found them all in my friend Plugs and Tom's room. Well, where did he get them? I don't know. At a comp store? <laughs> Well, Flex came from a comic book himself, so. Run! They're gonna have to go to Doom Manor, I guess. You, you can light him up like a Christmas tree. I take it that's. Tominox. In the flesh. I came for one thing. What's that? Your necklace. Give it to me if no one else needs supper. No. Very well then. No! Trapped it. All those people ain't bad. What are you doing here? Blasting you into stardust if you don't call off your goons and turn these people back. I have no quote with you, daughter. Leave this place. Please. Please, what are you? You never. What are you doing? You never say please. Some of you, yeah. You have a free ride to hate me right now. But I need you. Please. Who are you? But she did stop his evil, you know, destroy the world. World domination, whatever. Oh. Well, he 
he's getting boxed. She's feeling emotions. You're just right. Like he is. I've destroyed Torminox 143 times. I pushed him into a volcano. I froze him in liquid nitrogen. I hit him with an asteroid, but something was different this time. You've said it yourself before. He always comes back. Back is permanent here. When I looked into his eyes, something came to me. I'm not even really sure you could call it a memory, but he was pushing me on the swing, and we were happy. As much as I hate Torminox, he's all I have left of my father. So if what you say is true and death is really permanent here and there's no coming back, then he'd really be gone. And what would I be left with? What would I even do with myself? Maybe you don't have to find out. What do you mean? Maybe your father is still in there somewhere. Maybe you can get through to him, no matter how impossible it might seem to reach someone. There's always a way. Just ask Dorothy. It's true. You can. Oh, the one oh, who's been. Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> That's our arch nemesis. Hey, what is your problem? Having your kids already done enough damage. If you're going to be out here spreading this kind of hate, then you best be able to look me in the. I'm sorry, I was only trying to help. I see what those guys keep doing in the room. Not everyone here feels the same way they do. Thank you. How much paint you got? I see you finally come to your senses. Let's make this simple. Your friends? For the necklace. You don't have to do this. You don't have to be the villain. You don't have There's to something do more once, down. remember? They're trying to appeal to his love for his daughter. Cause love always prevails. You were my dad. No! The necklace! Now! This is all I have left to my father. I wanted him to tell him all the things I needed to say, but I never did. That's of no concern to me! Can it tell <laughs> What do you mean? Cattlemaker and I never went to get this back. Crystal and the dead boys had to get it for me. The truth is, I haven't talked to the candle maker in months or any of my friends. I locked them all away. Why? Because they reminded me too much of my father. Everyone does. My friends, Danny, the Doom Patrol, all they do is remind me of what I lost. I thought that if I conjured him for just a few minutes, I might be able to tell them how much I loved him. But the more time passed, the more I realized that's not all that I needed to say. I'm not the person I used to be. I'm confused, I'm scared, and I'm angry. And he was supposed to help me through it. He kept me a child for so long, and now that I'm finally growing up, He's not here, and I hate him for it. I want to say all of these things to him, but maybe some things are better left unsaid. She needs her dad. Fuck you for uh -huh. turning your back on that. That little actress is something fierce. At least he's a fair bit. I know how hard things can be out there. Believe me, I get it. But tonight someone reminded me that there are still good people in the world. People who want to help. True allies. And if we ever really want to change the world, we need to start living in it. I think it's time for us to move on to something new, including you, Danny. We all know that you'll always be a safe space to heal to anyone 
and everyone who needs it, but it's time we start making safe spaces of our own. Does this mean we have to leave? But what if we're never ready? If you feel like singing a song and you want other people to sing along, uh, just sing. What you feel, don't let anyone say it's wrong. And if you try to paint a picture, but you're not sure the colors belong, just paint. What you see, don't let anyone say it's wrong. Is there anything I can do? Everything my dad and I ever said, ever felt, ever suffered through, None of it was really ours. I wonder if they took that necklace from her because a mortis needed. There was something there, though. Because that was that kept Nas alive forever. A mortis may need I that to live. I saw it in his eyes. Forever. I think he can change. Because I'm so confused on how to. I want to meet whoever wrote our story and make them write us a new one. I could use the change of scenery. We could. Do matter. <laughs>